Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing great. In our previous tutorial, I explained how to cut this trendy illusion neckline design. And I'll drop the link in the description box. But in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sew these pieces together. For the front piece, I'll be placing the main fabric on the line to cut out exactly the same pieces. After cutting out the lining, I gummed the paper stay on the back piece of the lining and I also gummed a paper stay on the main fabric. So let's get started with the sewing by placing the center piece on one side to secure by half an inch and I'll also place one side of the piece on the center piece to secure by half an inch also repeat the sewing process on the lining after securing both the ankara and the lining separately the next step is to place the wrong side of the lace on the ankara print Making sure that the sharp edge of the V is placed on each other, as shown. The next step is to place the lining on the Ankara to secure the neckline. So this is the front piece and I want to secure the neckline. The first step is to unpin the lace. The next step is to place the lining on the Ankara, making sure that you are holding down the center of the V neck. And also make sure that a little bit of the lace is out in the center of the V neck. The next step is to hold the center of the V neck with the machine needle. Then you raise the footer to adjust the front piece. The next step is to raise the lining to adjust the lace, making sure that the lace is placed directly on the neckline. Now I'll secure just outside of the neckline. To secure the other half side of the neckline, I'll place the edge of the lace on the edge of the neckline on the lining. Step is to place the neckline of the Ankara on the lace and lining in such a way that the lace is in between the Ankara and the lining. This stitch here is the first stitch I made to secure the half side of the V neck. To secure the other half side so the V neck is completely sewn. I'm going to place the needle on this stitch. To secure the neckline by half an inch.
After inserting the lacing between the Ankara and the lining, this is how it should be. The next step is to secure the sides by half an inch and to do this, I will fold the Ankara to the wrong side then I also place the wrong side of the lining to secure the side by half an inch. After securing one of the sides, I will also fold the lining on the fabric to secure the other side by half an inch. The next step is to use a bias tape to secure the neckline. For the back piece, I'll place the lining on the Ankara piece to secure the neckline by half an inch. After securing the neckline, the next step is to secure the sides by half an inch. The next step is to secure the darts for the back piece. After I secured the darts for the back piece, I folded the front piece into two. Then I also placed it on the back piece to mark out the zipper allowance at the side. The next step is to take the back piece to the sewing machine to secure the zipper allowance using a loose stitch. To secure the shoulders together, I'll place the wrong side of the front piece against the wrong side of the back piece as shown. Making sure that the shoulder line aligns together. Now I'll bring the Ankara forward to take this to the sewing machine to secure by half an inch. I'll also do same to the second shoulder. Alright guys, the next step is to check the measurements to make sure it's accurate. Here, yeah, I checked our shoulder measurement. It's 15 inches, so by the time I secure it, it becomes 14 inches, which is correct. And the arm O. So it's quite small here. Yeah. I need to open it a little. Get the actual arm O size. The next step is to make sure that the waistline of both the front piece and the back piece are equal and also straight.
The final step in this measurement check is to fold the back piece into two. To mark half an inch on the zipper allowance below, then connect it to the edge of the waistline. The next step is to place the notched center of the sleeve on the shoulder line to secure the sides by half an inch. After securing the sleeve to the body of the top, the next step is to mark the shape of how you want to place the flounces. On the center of the v-neck, I will mark half an inch on one side. And I will keep marking half an inch away from the Ankara. After marking half an inch to this point, you should place the tape on the center of the shoulder line to get the distance between the chalked part and the shoulder line. Here it's 4 inches, so I'll keep marking 4 inches from the shoulder joining till I get to the back piece. Now the next step is to mark where you want the flounce to end. You can make it end directly on the waistline or some inches above the waistline but here i'll be making it to stop some inches above the waistline now i'll place my tape on the waistline to mark six inches the next step is to mark exactly the same measurements on the other side to which the second flounce will be attached the initial plan I had for this tutorial was just to explain how to cut and sew this style but as time went on, I fell in love with the combination. So I'm attaching a skirt to the upper part to form a dress for myself but I don't think I want to use two flounces for this. For this reason, I'll be making a single flounce. The next step is to take the tape to measure the width of the flounce from the front piece through the sleeve and down to the back piece. Here I have 26 inches. The next step is to fold the fabric I'll be using for the flounce. Here I folded this fabric into two and I'll further fold it into two so I practically folded it into four. So the width of the flounce is 26 inches. I multiplied it by 2 because of the pleats and that gave me 52 inches. The flounce is in form of a peplon and to get the radius of the peplon, I'll divide 52 inches by 6.28 which is a standard measurement for calculating the radius of a full circle which will give me 8.2. Now I'll place the tape on the tip of the fold as shown to mark 8.2 inches. The next step is to mark the length of the flounce. You can decide to use any length of your choice but I'll be working with a length of 9 inches.
The next step is to open the peplum in such a way that it's folded into two. So this is the center of the fold. And at one end, I will mark about 2.5 inches, which I will connect to the center of the peplum as shown. So if you want the flounce to be exactly the way it is on the thumbnail, like you want it to stand properly, you can place this on your lining to cut out the same shape and also place it on the gum stay to cut out the same shape. Then the gum stay should be gummed on the lining and also place the lining on the flounce to secure the sides before attaching it to the main dress. But in this tutorial, I won't be making use of a lining on the flounce and the reason is because the wrong side and the right side of the fabric look so much alike and I feel it will be beautiful when it's sewn without the lining though it might not really stand properly compared to when I use a gum stay in it the next step is to open the flounce to overlock the inner circle The next step is to secure the side and also sew the outer circle by folding it half an inch and further folding it by half an inch. All true. The next step is to pin the center of the flounce, which I notched on the center of the sleeve as shown. At this point, the next thing I'll do is to pin the flounce by pleating it directly on the line I chopped. Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the flounce on the top. Alright guys, the next step is to fold the front piece on the back piece to mark the burst circumference, the waist circumference the round arm o circumference and the sleeve circumference Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the sides. After securing the side of the upper part of the gown, you can then attach the skirt part of the gown to it. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, share and like my videos. And also put on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.